Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good, glorious morning. What a beautiful day. You know, it doesn't matter if it's what the weather is to make it a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day because God gave us breath. He gave us a new day. He gave us life. Mm. Gosh, there, there's nothing. There is nothing at all that is so terrible to, to, to cause us to have a bad day or a terrible day or make the day horrible. The day is beautiful. We, sh we have to thank God for the breath in our lungs, for the sight, for, for, for our speech, for movement. There are people that have none of that. There are people that have no nothing. They have no use of their limbs. They have no voice. They have Some people are being kept alive on machines right now. And so why, could, why would we or could we or should we ever complain about something not going our way? Because when we lived our lives, y'all, we didn't, we didn't, um, we didn't go, we didn't live our lives God's way, you know, we didn't, we didn't do things God's way, so why should life be, be our way? And when it doesn't go our way, so what, it doesn't go our way, get over it, you know, accept it, thank God that it didn't go your way, perhaps if it went your way, something even worse could have happened, you know. I look at it like that with everything, like traffic jams, everything. If I get in a traffic jam, thank you, Jesus. I may not think so at the very moment, but after I have a few minutes to think about it, I say thank you, Jesus, because I know that I was on a road trip and I was driving through um, West Virginia, and there was a 15-minute delay in the traffic. And that 15 minutes, I sat there, and I prayed and when the truck finally got out of the road 15 minutes down the road there's an accident a car is overturned and there's a truck over the over the cliff over the medium stuck in the trees on the cliff and I was like wow 15 minutes you know it only takes 15 minutes it only takes 15 seconds for real you know and so, we have to be thankful in everything that God puts in our path or everything that God allows in our paths. Because God doesn't, God doesn't make bad things happen to us. But He does allow them because He has a purpose. And who are we to question what His purpose is? Who are we to question what God's doing or, or why He's doing it? All we have to do is buckle up and enjoy the ride because we're riding. And that for that for that we should be thankful. For that we should be thankful. And so I just want to say good morning and praise God and it's a beautiful day. It could rain, snow, I don't care. It's still a beautiful day because you know what? God has entrusted me with his Holy Spirit. God has entrusted me with his grace and his mercy. I mean I'm just, I'm in awe. There's, I don't, there's nothing else I could possibly want. I'm just, I have everything I need when I have Jesus Christ. You know, we don't need, we don't need money. We don't need gas. We don't need a house. We don't need clothes. We don't need anything. All we need is Jesus Christ. And that's enough for me to be content and secure. Because I owe him everything. You know, in men's group last night, we were talking. God bless you too, Tony. In men's group last night, we were talking about when you're trapped. And then you're set free. And, and, and the, the, um, we were talking about a horse being trapped in a stable. And he's in the stall. And he's trapped there for, let's say, years. And then the stall door opens. And he's allowed to go out in the pasture, which is a, a fenced-in pasture. Is he free? Or is he still entrapped? And um, 
my very first reaction was, he's just freer than he was, but he's still not free. But upon thinking about it and talking about it, I was like, wow, he is free. Because that fence on that pasture is a fence of love, it's boundaries. And we have to have boundaries. If we don't have any boundaries, we're not free. If we are, if we are without boundaries, then we are not free. Because then we are slaves to sin. Good morning, Wendy. You're at the waterfront. Well, God bless you. I know that you have an appointment this morning. And I will see you after your appointment. And I just want you to know that, that God be with you. And, and God love you. And you know you're in my prayers. You know. Um... But I just wanted to say, you know, we have to be free, but remain in that pasture, that fenced in pasture, because beyond that fence is destruction. And so I see my connection is weak and I apologize. Maybe when I get down into Bangor, y'all, I can uh, reconnect, but I just want to say good morning. God bless you. And Please be thankful for everything that happens in your life, good or bad, or, or, or just neither good nor bad. Just be thankful that God has given you the breath or the next moment to see that event happen. Be thankful that God has blessed you with His Holy Spirit that will carry you and lead you and guide you if only you remain within that fenced-in pasture. I love you all. Peace. Be blessed.